hello dear students in this lecture we will discuss some more parameters of translocation and we will re revise what we have done in previous lecture so please refer to that lecture before this lecture so in the previous lecture we have discussed what is translocation and what are the types of translocation so in previous lecture we have discussed that translocation is also called illegitimate crossing over and it was first of all observed in Enothia or Lamarckiana and Hugo de Vries and we can also observe in Rohio and Tradescantia translocation are of many kinds and they are classified in simple when translocation of equal segments takes place reciprocal when translocation of unequal segments of chromosomes takes place and Robertsonian translocation happens between acrocentric chromosomes. So we will discuss more about Ro Robertsonian translocation in this lecture. So as discussed in the previous uh, lecture, uh, this uh, picture shows a translocation heterozygote where you see that N1 represents the normal one, T1 is a translocated chromosome and 2 represents the normal 2 and T2 is the uh, translocated chromosome. So N1 and N2 uh, are non-homologous chromosomes and T1 and 2 are translocated chromosomes. So we have discussed in previous lecture that to enable bivalent formation these four chromosomes undergo uh, the formation of a plus or cross shaped structure in a translocation heterozygote and uh, this instead of a bivalent they form a quadrivalent so that the genes can lie parallel to each other so you can see that one is parallel to one two is parallel to two and so on we have discussed this uh, picture in previous lecture also that once the translocation uh, heterozygote it forms a plus shaped structure then during metaphase there are three orientations alternate adjacent one and adjacent two and in alternate orientation the uh, if there are eight chiasma formed then it forms a eight shaped structure during anaphase while if there are four chiasma formed between uh, the chromosomes then it forms a ring shaped structure during anaphase for example say we have this chiasma between these two chromosomes and this chiasma between these two chromosomes this is third chiasma and then this is fourth chiasma so when these chromosomes try to separate from each other during anaphase then during separation they form a, a ring uh, shaped structure and we can see these rings during metaphase as well as anaphase so we have discussed that and this ring is formed because of four chiasma and we can observe them uh, under microscope in if we make a slide of Rohio translocate Rohio or uh, Tradescantia so we have seen the rings also in class and we have discussed uh, in previous lecture also that in out of the three orientations uh, only the alternate orientation of chromosomes form the viable gametes while the non-functional or non-viable gametes are formed in adjacent 1 and adjacent 2 orientation because of duplication and deletion of genes. So please refer to part 1 of translocation lecture. So uh, and in refer this books uh, let books us see uh, what we have discussed and let us summarize what we have done. So for example this N1 represents one pair of homologous chromosomes. So say this is maternal chromosome and this is paternal chromosome and this uh, this uh, n1 has six genes and say n2 represents the non homologous chromosomes with uh, gene number 7 to 10 
Suppose now translocation happens and illegitimate crossing over happens between these two non-homologous chromosomes. So now after translocation in this step if you see uh, the translocation has occurred between uh, these two chromosomes uh, the second and third chromosome and so after translocation n1 will be n1 normal because it has not undergone translocation but the second chromosome now has a translocated part uh, from the n2 so it will be instead of an n1 this will be called t1 now because it has got translocated part having 7 and 8 gene similarly the third third chromosome is a translocated chromosome because it is having uh, the chromosome uh, from the normal 2 as well as the normal 1 chromosome so this is a translocated chromosome and we call it t2 and the fourth chromosome is n2 so if you see the gene numbers in t1 and t2 uh, they are from both n1 and n2 like for example in t1 uh, 7 8 is from n2 and 4 5 6 is from n1 and in t2 1 2 3 are from n1 and 9 and 10 from n2 so out of the four chromosomes there are two uh, uh, translocated and two normal so if we see this pair of chromosome is a translocation heterozygote because in this one is normal and the second is translocated similarly here this is a translocation this pair of chromosome is a translocated heterozygote because one is normal and the second is translocated now to enable bivalent formation uh, these four chromosomes they form a plus shaped structure here uh, and so um, we can see why they are making a instead of bivalent they form a quadrivalent here so that uh, the genes lie parallel to each other the, even after translocation they should lie parallel to each other so they form a plus shaped structure like this and uh, we say that this is a quadrivalent because instead of bivalent there are four chromosomes lying parallel to each other uh, so um, now it, it depends what kind of orientation they take place uh, between these cro chromosomes so it depends on the number of chiasma which are formed say crossing over four chiasma are formed so uh, between these four cro chromosomes so if four chiasma are formed then a ring kind of structure is formed and if eight chiasma uh, are formed then a eight sh shaped structure is formed so when these chromosomes they try to separate from each other during anaphase then what happens that um, if four chiasma are formed there is a ring structure form and we see uh, these alternate orientation adjacent one or in orientation or adjacent two orientation um, in adjacent one and adjacent two orientation there will be du deletion and duplication of genes and in alternate orientation there will be all the genes present so this is the only orientation where the viable gametes are formed so this we have discussed in the previous lecture also and in the class also this is again the same um, this is the same phenomenon uh, right from the beginning uh, where we show uh, non homologous pair of chromosomes which have undergone translocation then forming a plus shaped structure here then forming a ring if four chiasma are formed and these are the three orientations adjacent one adjacent two adjacent three so this is the figure which is after griffiths this we have discussed in previous lecture so please refer to that i have explained in that and this is the orientations so we have discussed this in previous lecture this is just again uh, to summarize it in this lecture and here this is how this is the pictorial diagram of 
a ring of chromosomes which is visible in Oenothera lamarckiana which has 14 chromosomes and uh, these are the ring of chromosomes the, or the quadrivalents uh, observed amongst bivalents in metaphase preparations from male mice. So we can see these quadrivalents in mice also. And these are some more um, pictures to show the ring formation. So you can see that at meiotic metaphase and uh, you have this uh, ring formation and quadrivalent formation from Rhiza humilis. And similarly, there are some more pictures to show very clear um, your rings. So this arrow represents a quadrivalent or a ring shaped structure. And there are some more diagrams where you see a edge structure or a quadrivalent structure. So you, you, you can find all these pictures uh, from any web source. And this we have already discussed that uh, because the when translocation heterozygote is formed and if say translocation and heterozygotes um, there, there is uh, different kinds of progenies obtained due to self uh, due to self fertilization in a translocation heterozygote so this picture represents the progeny if uh, progenies of a self fertilization in translocation heterozygote so please refer pk gupta for this so we can find that when translocation heterozygote undergo self uh, fertilization then only the normal and the translocation heterozygote progeny is uh, your uh, fertile or uh, um, uh, they will and the other progenies will be sterile because of deletion and duplications so we find that there is considerable sterility is found in translocation heterozygote because only normal and translocation heterozygotes will be fertile now in humans tra robertsonian translocation occur in five acrocentric uh, chromosomes so what are acrocentric chromosomes which have where one arm is very small and the other arm is very long so in humans robertsonian translocation occurs in five acrocentric pair of chromosomes uh, where um, uh, where the short arms are fairly short and these chromosomes are namely 13 14 15 21 and 22 so when the participating chromosomes they are involved in translocation uh, the chromosomes break at their centromeres and the long arms fuse to form a single large chromosome with a single centromere so here you can see that this is a acrocentric chromosome and this is also a, a acrocentric chromosome so when translocation is occurring this is a robertsonian translocation because you you can see that one of the chromosomes after translocation is very long and the other one is very la small which is usually uh, lost so the most frequent uh, forms of robertsonian translocations are between chromosome 13 14 and between 13 and 21 and between 21 and 22 uh, we will discuss this slide more in next uh, lecture of translocation. So, thank you students. Let us meet in next lecture.